Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel, Maddy Mandi to Scientific Academy. Today our lecture is related to chapter 7 and your book is D2 Math. And I'm going to explain you exercise 7A, question number 5. As just if you want to get more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe my channel. Okay, start at today's lecture. So let's start. Uh, question number 5 is given the functions f of x is equal to x by 2 plus 3 and g of x is equal to 3 by 4 x minus 2. Uh, find the values of f of 2, g of 2 and f of minus 1 minus g of minus 1, 2, f of 4 minus 3, g of 6, f of 5, f of 2 mi minus 2 minus 7 g uh, of minus 4. So these are the four parts which we need to do in question number 5 and part b is what are the values of x for which f of x is equal to g of x and f of x is equal to 70? So, let's start this question. Question number 5. Okay, I'm going to explain you part 1. And students, first write down, okay, remember the function. You know that what are the functions. f of x is x by 2 plus 3 and g of x is 3 by 4 x minus 2. Okay, so in the first part you have to find out f of 2 plus g of 2. So, stress first you have to find out f of 2, then g of 2, and then you will add both values. So, let's start. First, I'm going to find out f of 2. So, f of 2, this is f of 2 now. So, you have to take f function, f of x, okay? So, what you need to do is you have to substitute 2 in this function. As this is f of 2, so you will take this function and you will substitute 2 in this function okay so uh, what is the function f x by 2 plus 3 so i'm going to substitute 2 in this function so 2 by 2 plus 3 so 2 divided by 2 is 1 so 1 plus 3 is 4 now find out g of 2 as this is g of 2 now so i'm going to take i'm going to take g function g of x as you can see that g of x is 3 by 4x minus 2. So, in this function, you are going to substitute this 2, okay? So, here 3 by 4. So, in place of this x, I am going to substitute this 2, okay? Minus 2. So, I can cut this to 1s are 2 to 2s are 4. So, it is 3 by 2 minus 2. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is, as you can see that this is a fraction and here, if I put 1 in the denominator, this is also function. So, just remember that whenever you are having function, whenever you are having fractions and in between there is a plus or minus sign, so you have to take the LCM. So, I am going to take the LCM, as you can see that the LCM would be 2. So, 2 1s are 2 and 1 2s are 2. 2 1s are 2 and 1 2s are 2. So, I'm going to multiply the numerators now. 3 1s are 3 minus 2 2s are 4. So, I will get 3 minus 4 is minus 1 by 2. Now, as I have to find out f of 2 plus g of 2. So, I'm going to write this f of 2 plus g of 2 and I'm going to substitute the values. I'm going to just, okay, I'm going to put their values. So, f of 2 is 4 and this plus. And g of 2 is minus 1 by 2. So, 4 plus minus is minus 1 by 2. Again, you are having fractions. You can put 1 in here and you can make it a fraction. And now you can take the LCM. 2 would be the LCM. Which time 1 is 2? It's 2 times. So, multiply the numerator with 2. Which time 3 is 2? It's 1 times. So, multiply the numerator with 1. So, 2 4s are 8. Minus 1 1s are 1. So, your answer would be 7 by 2. Two. I just was here you can see that uh, as numerator is uh, greater than denominator so I'm going to uh, write down this fraction a mixed number so when I will divide 7 with 2 I will get the answer to 3 is at 6 
and what one would be your uh, one would be your remainder now so two threes are six one would be your remainder and this is your divisor so three whole one by two is your answer i hope that uh, part one of question number five is uh, clear to you now move forward to question number part two of question number five So now, part two is f of minus one minus g of minus one. So first you have to find out f of minus one as this is f of minus one. Now so you have to take f of x. Okay, you have to take this function. So f of x is x by two plus c. You now you have to substitute this minus one in this function. In place of x, we will substitute its value, which is minus one. So I'm going to substitute its value now, minus one over two plus three. As you can see that again, this is the fraction, and I can put one to make it a fraction. Now I'll take the LCM. So two will be the LCM. Two ones are two, and one twos are one twos are two, and two ones are two. Minus one plus. Six to three is our six. So six minus one is five by two. Now uh, I have found f of minus one. I'm going to find out g of minus one. So for g of minus one, I will take this g of x function. As you can see, that this is three by four x minus two. So three by four. So in place of x, I'm going to substitute its value, which is minus one. So minus two. So it will be minus three by four. Minus one threes are minus three. So now I'm going to take the LCM. This would be a uh, minus three by four minus two. Okay. Now I'm going to take uh, its LCM. I can put one here to make it a fraction. So it would be like uh, four be the LCM and four ones are four one fours are four. So minus three ones are three and two fours are eight. So this is eight nine ten eleven minus eleven by Four. Here, students, again, you can see that this is minus eleven by four. I have found g of minus one, and I have found f of minus one. Uh, but uh, what I need to find out, I need to find out f of minus one minus g of minus one. So now I'm going to find out this f of minus one minus g of minus one is equal to. I'm going to write down the answers. F of minus one is five by two, and minus g of minus one is. Uh, Minus eleven by four. As you can see that this is minus and this is also minus. Minus minus is plus. Now I'm going to take the LCM. I'm having two fractions with plus sign between. So four will be the LCM. And you'll take the least common multiple of two and four is four. So I'm going to take four. Two twos are four. Four ones are four. So five twos are ten. Plus eleven ones are eleven, so eleven and ten would be ten twenty twenty one by four. Okay, so again you are having uh, here you can see that numerator is greater than denominator, so you will divide it and you write down the answer in mixed number. So for five to twenty, okay, so one will be the remainder. Five four one by four four is the divisor. So five four one by four is your answer. I hope that it's clear to you. Okay, now moving forward to question part three of this question. Oh, I erased the functions also, so let me write again. So f of x is. x by two plus three, and g of x is three by four x minus two. Okay, I'm going to explain you part three now. Part three is two f of four minus three g of six. So first, you have to find out two f of four. Two f of four means that you have to multiply two with this function f of x, but in place of x, we'll substitute this value, which is four. But you have to write down two because this is two f of four. 
So two, now write down the function, but substitute its value, which is four. You will take, f, this is f of four, so you will take f of x function. So in place of x, we'll put four, we'll substitute four. So four by two plus three. As you can see that two twos are four, I can cut it. And three plus two is five. And five twos are 10. Now I'm going to find out uh, 3g of 6. 3g of 6 means that you have to substitute, okay, you have to take g of x function, you have to substitute its value, which is 6. But you have to multiply the function with 3 as well, okay? So this is 3, that, this is that 3. Okay. So g of x says you have to take g of x function, but in place of x, you will substitute its value, which is 6. So 3 by 4, 6, minus 2. So 3, 3, 6 are 18 by 4, minus 2. I can simplify to 2s are 4, to 9s are 18. So it will be like 3, 9 by 2, minus 2. Okay, now uh, what can I do is I can so this would be a 9 by 2 minus 2. Now I'm going to put 1 here so I can take the LCM 3 uh, 9 by 2 minus 2 by 1. So now I can take the LCM. So LCM would be 2. And two ones are two and what twos are two. So nine ones are nine minus two twos are four. It will be like three nine minus four is five by two. Now I can multiply this five with this three. Five threes are fifteen by two. So students three g of x is fifteen by two and two f of four is ten and three g of x is uh, fifteen by two. Now I'm going to uh, subtract them because in the question it is written that we have to find out two f of four minus three g of x. Two f of four we have found which is ten and we have found three g of x which is fifteen by two. Now I'm going to subtract it. So two f of four minus three g of six is equal to okay so 10 minus 15 by 2 so if i put one here i can make it a fraction i can take the lcm so one twos are two and two ones are two two twos are 20 minus 15 so 20 minus 15 is 5 by 2 so when i'll divide 5 by 2 so okay when i'll divide 5 by 2 so uh I can divide it so to twos are four, uh, to twos are four, and one would be the remainder. So two whole one by two is your answer. Okay, so I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. Do the practice of these stuff because when you do the practice, then this concept will be more clear to you. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz. Mama, what is wrong?